Why hello there guys, QuaddyAfro here, bringing you another episode of playing Open BVE. Today, we're going to be venturing onto the district line. Uh, we're going to be doing a service from Edra Road to Putney Bridge. Uh, for the district line, there are two routes available. There's one from uh, Edra Road to Putney Bridge, and there is one, I do believe, uh, from Gloucester Road to St. James's Park. Um, that one I wanted to do, like, first, but... Obviously, that part of the line uses the D-Stock train, but I cannot, for the love of God, find a D-Stock train available online to actually play. So if anyone could direct me uh, to a link somewhere where I can, you know, find the D-Stock train for OpenBV or any kind of BV version, BV2, BV4, please uh, feel free to comment down below because I've been trying so long to find a D-Stock because... Um, if you actually don't know, the website that I normally give you for links for all of these videos that I've done so far, I've done free, uh, uh, the BV Tube uh, Weekly or something like that, I can't remember what the website is called, but they actually have recently updated the site, and I... I kind of guess maybe due to my videos, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying anything. I'm not putting anything out there, but I, I did notice a trend where, or a correlation where my videos came out, and then days after the website gets updated because probably maybe loads of people were going jumping on straight to download these things maybe they weren't exposed to it or maybe people are re-downloading them to you know play it again because you know i'm doing a video of it so the website got updated uh things got moved around things got removed things got updated to kind of show that some things aren't available and right now the website is showing um some things are not available like the d-stock train which was available before but the link's now broken uh the thing with the bv community and stuff like that is when i'm trying to find stuff now uh loads of links do appear broken and it is a bit irritating so I'll try my best to like find things that work. Uh, this one that I'm doing now today has a few errors. You even you, you saw there when we loaded into the route where it shows you the errors and the warnings and stuff in the pink writing. Uh, because this is built for BV4, I do believe. So it's not really meant for you to go outside in um, like a free roam camera because the textures are only meant to kind of work one way and not you looking around and maybe going behind the textures, etc. and whatnot. So. Uh, you might see a few little glitches and stuff once I go out in the free cam uh, free camera once I'm, once we're on the way once we're driving but it shouldn't be too bad so we're in uh, the C stock this is actually a really really detailed train I have to say if I even go out actually into the free cam mode you're not going to see any station behind you because we're in Edra Road and there's nothing normally at the beginning stations the beginning stations are not normally fleshed out on some of these older routes you only see like see here the beginning part of Edra Road so not too bad but look at the detail of the C stock train it is really really nice I definitely link you guys down below to the website that actually provides this, this is a really like look at that this is really good like it looks as good as the uh, tml version for world of subways volume 3 so uh, i'm pretty impressed with this kind of thing you can even go if we go into it if i know my camera there we go look at that it's pretty good it's not bad for open b well for bve i have to say so today we're doing as i said edra road to st james's park on this district line which used to be run by the sea stock only uh, now obviously everything's pretty much on the circle uh, hammersmith and city metropolitan and this district line branch is pretty much all run by s stock right now i don't know if s an s stock train is being made for bve but apparently there is a version coming somewhat soon from someone i don't know who but apparently it's in the works so uh currently there's only a few d stocks i do believe left on the other kind of district line branches but the C stock as I'm driving here right now is redundant basically. I think most of them have all been scrapped and maybe a few have been left for heritage and uh, museums and stuff or whatnot. I'm not too sure. So uh, before I get into driving, shout outs go to Blah Devotee and the OG Hood Rat. That's again Blah Devotee and the OG Hood Rat. Their links and stuff will be down below. Please do show them some love. Again, with the shout outs, please do not come and uh, request any shout outs currently because I'm trying to go through the current list once that's finished. I'll reopen shoutouts to people that uh, to people that haven't actually had a shout out already. Okay, so uh, showed you outside of train. Let's get going, really, because there's nothing really much to do except for let's put the reverse into four. Let's see, let's watch the train actually depart outside here from the actual exterior view. That would be fun. Let's stand clear of the doors. There won't be any announcements. I do believe on this on this route on this train, which is sad, but I might fill in for some of the announcements. You never know. Uh, let's stand clear of the doors. Very nice. The sounds are actually not too bad. Let's get going. Ah! 
departing Edra Road. I'm not going to go too fast here. Out, out here, outside of Edra Road, I do believe there's a 25 limit. I'm not too sure. You can see here the train as well itself isn't actually configured for a uh, district line service. It's still like the I think the, the set textures are for Hammersmith and City Line train, which we'll just ignore that for now. Like you can't really do much. I can't actually even tell what speed I'm actually going because the the, <laughs> the speedometers are so flat. I, I, I think we're sort of below 25, so we should be all right. As you see here, what branches off to be the Hammersmith and City and now Circle Line to Hammersmith branches there on the right. And you can see here, like uh, on some of these routes, you get little indicators like here, Prade, uh, Prade Pra Prade Street Drank Junction, which the Hammersmith and City goes onto the right branch. And this scenario, I do believe, is set in 2002, so it just would be the Hammersmith and City Circle Line wouldn't have uh, uh, reached Hammersmith yet. I know when was it? When was it that the Hammersmith? I mean, the Circle Line joined the Hammersmith and City Line to uh, um, to Hammersmith. Was it like 2009 or something like that that they added the uh, lasso loop? Basically, they broke the Circle Line basically because it's no longer a circle; it's a, a circle lasso essentially. Right. The next station is Paddington. Change here for uh, Bakerloo uh, and Hammersmith and City Lines and National Rail Services. Right, the brakes are not massively good on this. So I'm going to have to... There we go. And... There we go. Oh, perfect. And you see, you hear the door animations there and the sounds, but there is no announcement. So I'll do the announcement. This station is Paddington. Uh, change here for Bakerloo and Hammersmith and City Lines and National Rail Services. This is a district line train to Putney Bridge. I'm guessing that's how it would say. I like the announcements on these um, on these Metro Camwell trains. They're like the some of the best. I feel like uh, the ones that are, I think the only one really that has the kind of similar announcements is pretty much the uh, Bakerloo line. I really like that um, voice. Uh, I think it's Anne. Yeah, the uh, the Anne voice, the Anne automated voice. I think uh, probably the best announcement by far. Uh, let's get the doors closed. Let's uh, head our way to Bayswater. Do be the next station is. But yeah, Voice Anne, uh, the Anne voice uh, announcer person who did the most, pretty much all of them, pretty much at one point, and then basically now they've all changed. I really hate some of the voice kind of announcements and stuff on some of the uh, tube lines now, like the, uh, uh, the, I do believe the Piccadilly line is Anne, but just she sounds completely different, or maybe it might not be Anne, I think it might be a completely different person, but the Piccadilly line really sounds dark. You know, it's like, this is a Piccadilly line service to Cockbusters. <laughs> or like, this is a Piccadilly line service to Heathrow Terminal 1, 2, 3, and 5. Uh, and then you have, like, um, you have the D-Stock announcement, which is, like, uh, very subtle. And then, uh, similar to the S-Stock one now, where it's just like, this is a Hammersmith and City line to Barking. The next station is, I don't know. Paddington. <laughs> Just very, like, it sounds very robotic almost, these new announcements, to be honest. Uh, like, the Jubilee line uh, is interesting. Uh, it, it used to be okay, but now, like, I've been on it recently, and if you saw one of my latest vlogs, I was on it, and I was recording a bit on the Jubilee line, and the announcers were just, the announcement was just kind of really jagged and not really fluid. It's, uh, it's like, this train terminates at and then a few seconds pause, and then it'll be like, stand more. Now arriving at Bayswater. Right, let's try and do a little outside cam to show you the uh, doors opening. Right, and there we go. Now I know how to reset now the free camera mode. Uh, let's move around a bit here, and... Wait, is all of the train on the platform? Does that look... Yeah, it's all on the platform. And I opened the wrong doors. Would you believe that? There we go. 
I like the kind of smooth opening is very very nice we underran by 0 0.7 meters okay and we expect it oh, so I think we're on time oh god oh god I'm oh, these these controls are just so can I I just wanna right I just wanna can I do that thank you right this is um this station is Basewater. This is a uh, this is a district line train to Putney Bridge. Please stand clear of the closing doors. No, it's like it's more like this train is ready to depart. Please stand clear of the closing doors. There we go. That's all done nicely. Professional. Hope you like my announcements. But look at it, just the detail of this train is really good. Like, if I had to actually take something away from, like, this line, um, like, what's cool with the website that you, what I normally use to, uh, for you guys to download, like, all of these stuff that I do in this series, uh, it tells you if the, if the, if the route is detailed or not. There's some high detailed routes, and the higher detailed routes are, like, the Waterloo and City Line, the Central Line. There's medium detailed routes, which I do believe the, uh, Gloucester Road to St. James's Park route of the district line is, and there's other ones that are medium detail. This one is classified as a low detail, and it kind of is in a sense to determine that it was kind of more built for BVE4, where you would just, your head would just be in this first position camera, and it, you, it wouldn't really want you to go outside and look at the textures and stuff like that, because the textures are really meant to be looked at from this view. And this, stop. Stop, stop, stop. No, no. Look at overrun. Okay. Right. As I told you, the brakes on this are not the best. And I think in real life, um, I actually think in real life the brakes on the C-Stock weren't, weren't actually that good. I've, I don't know who told me or if I read up about it or like read some like blog or something from a driver. I think it was a driver. I think it, I followed like a YouTuber that's like an actual district line driver and uh, he did say that the C stocks had really bad braking issues and when you were ever when like learner drivers were learning on the C stock they like were just told you need to just brake so assertively. Right. This station is this is Notting Kill Gate. No, no, that's not the that's not the way she says it. It's like this station is Notting Kill Gate. Change for the central line. Yeah, it's a bit more like that. Let's put the reverser back into into forward. The cab also in this you can actually look around, which is really cool. Uh, but if you look backwards, you just get an invisible train and invisible textures because again, this is built for BV <laughs> BV two, not uh, or BV four, not be open BV where you have more freedom with the camera and whatnot. Anyway, this train is ready to depart. Please stand clear of the closing doors. There we go. Let's get her going. Obviously, I think the cab in uh, World of Subways Volume 3 is a little bit better than this, but it's nice. It's like certain things that are a little bit different, like from the World of Subways um, Volume 3. Like the destination thing, it uses a matrix, or is that actually like a, a like a neon yellow blind? I feel. And some of those buttons over there look sort of different to the how they've done it in World of Subways Volume 3, but everything pretty much does kind of look the same. But it's nice that you can move. Like, there's other trains, like the, um, uh, there's some trains that the moving around the camera in the cab are not so good. There's all, the 1967 stops actually really good for, like, just moving around. There's no external textures or anything like this train, but it's actually really cool to move your head around in the actual cab. But I don't know what line I'll do next. Um, uh, I feel maybe Bakerloo, or maybe one of the Northern Lines. Uh, Northern Lines are actually pretty good for open BVE. I think it was one of the first tube lines that was like done for open BBE properly. Right. The next station is High Street Kensington. Change for the district line. Essentially it is just a district line because obviously you can change here for the um 
the you can change here for the Kensington Olympia branch on the weekend I'm guessing and you can see oh god you can see over here we have a we have a a textured in D stock a very cool little almost Roblox like cartoon D stock train but you know it's there for effect again it's more kind of like aimed at the kind of perspective that you just be seeing outside the train right here like this so it's not really it's not really meant to like you know be gone outside in the free view cam to kind of be observed and whatnot so I, I can I can understand that anyway let's do a little departure from from the outside here um, let's go a little bit backwards here uh, this is a district line train for Putney Bridge please stand clear of the closing doors. This train is ready to depart. Right. You can see the D. Uh, you can see exactly here with this C stock train here. You can see the textures have been only done one way forward. They're not really meant to be. They're not be really meant to be viewed from this angle that I'm looking at here in Open BV because BV4, BV2 is just a first person mode, not a. Uh, external camera wander about look at everything kind of thing so I can kind of understand that in terms of detailing of this uh, of this uh, of this route I'm going I'm going here a little bit slow because obviously we're switching junctions here at triangle junction where the circle line branches off and goes round into the west end and um, to Westminster and whatnot and we now continue to um, to Isles Court and beyond to the uh, Wimbledon branch and we have here a red light which appears now the little bar thing comes up here which means that do I have to s stop essentially I don't know like, let's let's go back a little bit because I'm, I'm not I'm not too sure because we do have a green light here but I don't know if this was scripted in that I need to stop here but we'll stop let's um okay we I, I guess we I guess we really don't need to stop here that's fine right let's just continue we have a green light that's fine because it's not a station here I'm not gonna open doors in the middle of a tunnel here just past triangle junction But off we go, now into the, uh, we're dwelling into just district line territory here where we just predominantly see D stocks and today we just see S stocks essentially. I stopped at, I missed the station I was supposed to stop at. What? Um, well there was no station there. Maybe that's just a little bit of a bug there. Right, the fly under here. Basically, just used by the Wimbledon branch and the Kensington Olympia branch. I like also the camera sway, it's quite nice. The next station is Earl's Court. Change for Piccadilly Line and other district line services. Oh no, it should be more like change here for other district lines. Got changing of a district line services to other destinations and the Piccadilly line. Something like that, I don't know. Probably be something said like that. You can see there some unrefurbished D stock trains. Oh, I remember when those were about. I actually prefer them like that. I, 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 I thought the interior was kind of cooler and the seats were way comfier back then when it, before it was refurbished. I don't know if anyone else you know, feels that. We have another red light coming up here. If you want to go to a station which is just jam-packed... Oh my god, we have to stop there? Really? Wow, that's... Can I just... No, I can't. I have to go back. Oh my god. That's a really shoddy place to stop all the way back there. I know where the C stop train and the C stop train is mighty short compared to the to the to the uh, the C stop train is mighty short compared to the uh, D stop but still 
and somehow it's not registering that I'm at a station for some reason. I don't know. Let's go back here to um, um No, I don't want that. Oh yeah, that's what I want. There we go, Earl's Court. This is Earl's Court. Change here for the Piccadilly line and other district line services. But yeah, this is pretty much low detail that you're going to get in this kind of game. So, you know, it, and one thing also, which I didn't mention, is this train isn't... This train was built, I think, separate to this route. This route, I think there is another older C-stock version that you can get, which just, I think, has a front cab view and that's it. I feel that um, uh, this train, I think, was built just off after separately by a different person. So that's why the train looks pretty good, like in all fairness, to to like uh, to C stock standards and, and and to the actual game itself. Here, it actually looks pretty damn good. But the route itself, uh, on the other hand, is not the best thing. Oh, look at that! Maybe that for a screenshot. Maybe. I don't know. We'll think about that. But you know what I mean. The train is pretty detailed, but the actual route itself is not that detailed. Oh my god. And just leave. Oh god. These controls just will ne I'll never, I'll never master them. Anyway, this train is ready to depart. Please stand clear of the closing doors. Perfect. Oh, let me just check. Do we have a... We have a green light. That's good. Cool. I can stand out here and watch the train go. Get it in forward. Here we go. The train now departing platform whatever whatever is to Putney Bridge. Which I do believe Putney Bridge is actually a station terminus where only sea stock trains could actually terminate. I think uh, D stock trains were too long because if you actually, well, but when we get to Putney Bridge, you'll, you guys will see uh, that the middle bay. Wait, what? I didn't stop at Earl's Court. Well, I did. I opened the doors in the correct stopping position. I reversed to it, so I don't know. I think I think the the stop marker thing is a little bit bugged. Doesn't matter. We'll venture forward. But Putney Bridge itself. Uh, was only mainly used for turn back points for the C stock trains. D stock trains could never stop there. It was just too short. And I think it just about fit a C stock train on it. Right. The next station is uh, West Brompton. Change for. Well, back then it would have been um, change for National Rail Services. And today it's changed for London Overground and National Rail Services. Well, back then it was Silverlink, but Silverlink was uh, National Rail. What is with these station markers? Like, what the... Like, this This is a bit unrealistic in terms of the... Uh, this is way unrealistic for the station markers. Or maybe it's not. Maybe for the sea stock it wasn't. Let's just back it up a little bit here. There we go. Thank you. This station is West Brompton. Change for National Rail Services. Essentially. And yeah, see, you can see coming out here in the uh, free cam view, it's just not good because the texturing is just like, look, I can go behind here, the silver link, this free one free, and you can see the behind the textures, and then it's only meant to be looked essentially at one way, which is. Annoying, but you know, let's uh, let's also one thing. Let's 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 do this. Let's go into. I haven't actually done this in this one. Let's. I did it in the central line video. Let's uh, let's drive a bit in the uh, in the in the in the passenger compartment, shall we? This train is ready to depart. Please stand clear of the doors. There we go. Let's see how it is riding back here in the sea stock. This is actually something you couldn't do in Wilder Subways Volume 3, so I'm doing it here in, in open PV. Would you believe that?
I'm gonna I'm gonna really approach the, uh, Fulham Broadway now carefully once we get into it and just slow down quite you know abruptly so we don't pass the marker again because I'm guessing yeah the C stop probably has markers that are much more uh, further in while the D stop stops up pretty much at the end and now it's in today S stop stops at the end because S stop just pretty much fills up the whole platform and some platforms they don't fit in entirely and then the uh, the out edge doors don't open The next station is Fulham Broadway, a light for the Chelsea FC Stadium, <laughs> I think. Is, did they even say that in the announcement? I'm not even too sure. Right, slowly pull in now. Don't mind if we just have to coast a bit here to get to the marker. I'm totally cool with that. Okay, come on. Where's... The okay, so on this station, the marker's at the very end. This is Fulham Broadway. A light for the Chelsea FC Stadium. This is a this is a district line train to Putney Bridge. One thing that still really annoys me about like say even the S stock and even back in the day actually well no this was a bit of a kind of a, a well back in the day when there was the C stock and basically so the D stock had its own train that was basically for the district line and it had green bars the green handlebars the circle line was pretty much the C stock so it had yellow bars one thing that aggravated me so much is that the Hammersmith and City like obviously it shared the C stock but it didn't have pink pink bars which like I really wish it did and like um, I really wish like the district line C stock had green bars so you, you know what I'm kind of saying I really wish that like it's even like if you actually look at loads of trains uh, loads of the tube lines now none of them are really true to their color um you you have like rare ones now like the the surviving d stocks that have green bars you have the bakerloo line the 1972 stock that actually has brown bars to signify the bakerloo line you had the x 1967 stocks on the victoria line that actually had like the kind of aqua blue uh, bars to represent the Victoria line uh, you have the, the, the 1974 stock on the Piccadilly line which still has the dark blue handles but some yellow which is a bit odd which is nice but then the rest kind of just go to hell with it really the the northern line used to have yellow but now has uh, has dark blue I don't know why they can just done it black the Jubilee line just has yellow never had silver um, the Waterloo and City, however, does have um, does have uh, the same blue for the sig to signify the line. Uh, the Central line has red, which is good, and then you basically have the S stock. The S stock just ignores all of it and just sticks with yellow. And I kind of understand that because obviously they're they're going to be running on multiple lines. Uh, you know, it'll be just confusing to just shuffle trains by the color of their handlebars. That would be really crazy. They could do it for the Metropolitan Line because only the S8s, uh, the S8 stocks only run on the Metropolitan Line. So they could color those like that burgundy color. Who knows? The train's ready to depart. Please stand clear of the doors. But it, like you know, you know what I mean. That's just one of my little pet peeves with the tube. Like if I had to change, if I had to go in there and actually change something about the tube, I'd definitely change that and make every line true to its color and have its handlebars the same color. Um, I think the 2009 stock on the Victoria has blue, but it's not the same blue like the Victoria line color. It's actually more the blue of the Piccadilly line, which is a bit aggravating if you think about it. Now I don't know what the next station is. This is where like my knowledge of the route kind of diff uh, kind of varies a bit. I think I know all the stations up to Fulham Broadway and then past Fulham Broadway. I think I think Putney Bridge is the next station, or maybe two more stations. I'm not too sure. But now we're outside. We're out in the wilderness, coming up to the river. There's quite a lot of sidings here actually between here and actually and, and Putney Bridge. This is where like the old sea stocks were basically kept on the siding and when they were like 
shuffled in and out of service and whatnot. Uh, is it the next station Stamford Brook? I, I really don't know. But we'll see when we get there. And what the hell is this station? I, no one knows because it's, it it's not going to tell me. Oh, it will tell me once I uh, stop, actually. That's fine. Right, where's the marker now? Yeah, it's here. This is Parsons Green. This is a district line service to Putney Bridge. And you can hear some sound effects there just to signify train leaving. So in BV2 and 4, that's fine because you can't go outside and see this train. But if I go out now and if I go out and now see this train, that train's still there and it's still textured in to view only at that certain angle. Annoying, but um you know that's 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 the uh, age of this game. You can't really do too much about it. Let's uh, go around this side, have a look at this, and let it depart from this side. Think of those strange ways to depart. Right. I'd say the seats are really nicely done, actually. Like this train's just good. <laughs> For this game, it's really good. Probably the only kind of dislikes are the wheels, but that's something like that's probably hard to an like animate for this game. Let me go past some more sidings here at Parsons Green, and then we go in, like some sort of viaduct. And I do believe that like, we cross these, we cross like the southwest uh, western main line. But like Southwest trains run trains underneath here somewhere near uh, Putney. But I think is the next station Putney Bridge? I'm not too sure. I want to kind of say it is. Or maybe, oh no, maybe it's Putney Common, I think. And then Putney Bridge. I think, yeah, I think it might be, yeah, New Kings Road. Oh no, that's just saying New Kings Road or whatnot. But I think the next station might be Putney Common. And then it will be Putney Bridge. I'm pretty sure. If my District 9 knowledge is... is uh, Oh. No. No, this is Putney Bridge. The next station is Putney Bridge. Where this train terminates. Please be sure to have all your personal belongings with you when leaving the train. The next station is Putney Bridge. Where this train terminates. All change. Oh, so maybe Putney... Oh, I'd actually know there's probably no Putney common. I might be just talking out my ass here. There we go. Nicely does it. This is Putney Bridge, where this train terminates. All change, please. All change. There we go. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Let's see if we can find ourselves a good little screenshot somewhere back here. Oh, that's that'll be nice actually. Something like that. It's not the most detailed route. It's not. It's not going to be. Let's see if we can get like Putney Bridge sign in here. Something like. That. Oh, but no, but then, then the pole's in the way, isn't it? Something like that, I don't know. Oh, looking back's not too bad. At least none of the textures and whatnot are missing. Oh, they do go missing. Right, let's find let's find ourselves a little angle here, what we can work with, if I can actually get the controls working and whatnot. And now if I go and zoom in here. Oh, look at that. Something like that. That's pretty cool. That's actually pretty cool. That's a, a kind of a bit of a dynamic shot there, if you think about it. Looks pretty good. Uh, let's get something like that. Uh, zoom a little bit out. Oh, but now you can't see that it's Putney Bridge. Yeah, I think that's fine. 
that'd be a cool little that'd be a cool little thumbnail there for the for the for the video. I think you guys will like that. Anyway, we're here at Putney Bridge. We've done it. We've done uh, the district line, only a part of it. There is another one, as I said, uh, which is the uh, St. James's, uh, no, so the Gloucester Road to St. James's Park. But for that one, to make it a bit more realistic, um, I want to find this um, infamous D stock train, excuse me. I want to find this uh, D stock train online somehow or somewhere. So if you guys have any like links to it or whatever, or any idea where I could find it, please then hit me up in the comments down below because I really want to find a you know a working D stock train. I know it's out there. People have played it and whatnot, and I have been seeing videos of other good made trains for this game. But it's just like some of the creators just don't release the links and the downloads for them. They just keep it to themselves until maybe they finished it. Um, but some of these are like such old videos and stuff, or, or these really good. Model trains and whatnot, but just the creators themselves are not releasing anything for it, which is really annoying. And loads of these links and stuff for these routes and trains do go broken and and go missing, so it's a bit annoying. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. This was the district line from Edra Road to Putney Bridge. I enjoyed it. The train was really good. The routes, however, not that good. It's pretty low detailed and you know very much uh, BV4 kind of uh, territory, but. It was pretty good. I enjoyed it, though. Um, I hope you enjoyed my announcements I did. I tried to do. And um, essentially, yeah, uh, we'll see what we're going to do for the next route. Probably something like the Bakerloo line or the Northern line. Uh, one of those two, which are pretty good. Uh, the Bakerloo line's really good, like, in terms of, like, for BV2 or 4, is really nice. They probably we won't be doing too much outdoor cameras because there's no outdoor textures for the 1972 stock. But then we have also the Northern line, which might be actually really good to do. Loads of people want me to do the Northern line, and that has, like, the whole network. So that'll be, like, multiple videos of the Northern line in the future. Anyway, guys... I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Again, the links go, to, uh, the, I have almost seen the links, the shout outs go to Blah, Devotee, and the OG Hood Rat. That's again Blah, Devotee, and the OG Hood Rat. Their links are stuffy down below. Do show them some love. Uh, I will see you guys in another playing OpenBV video or in another video in general. Uh, other than that, um, I hope you guys have a good day. Take care. See you next time. We ain't never